Welcome to Moomoo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's figure out how to calculate power. And the formula for power is work divided by time. Now, you can use this triangle to help you figure out other things like power, time, and work. For example, if you need power, it's work divided by time. If you need how long you need to apply something, it is work divided by power. And then if you would like to know how much work is produced, it's power times time. And I'll work an example of each of these. So let's get started. Okay, we have 1,224 joules of work are applied to the bike pedal while riding a bike up a hill for 18 seconds. How much power is produced? Remember, power is work over time. So now let's start plugging in some numbers. We have 1,224 joules. And that is applied for 18 seconds. Okay? When, that's a messy J, by the way. Okay? When you take 1,224 divided by 18, that gives you 68. But now we've got to make sure we get the correct units of measure. We have joules divided by seconds, which is a watt. So we have 68 watts of power is produced. Let's look at another example. Okay, this time we have John applied 500 joules of work for 25 seconds when pushing the sled. How much power was produced? Again, I'm going to draw this. You don't have to draw this chart each time, but I just want to emphasize this. And so we are looking for power, and power is equal to work over time. So we have 500 joules of work. And that was for 25 seconds. When you divide 500 by 25, that gives you second. Remember, we have joules per second, which is a watt. So it is 20 watts. Now we're going to do two that are slightly different. Okay, in this one, it's how much time is needed to produce 1,400 joules of work if 180 watts is applied to a bike pedal. So let's look at our triangle again. Work. Power, time. This time we are looking for time, and time is work over power. Work over power. Let's see how much work we have. We have 1,440 joules of work, and our power is 180 watts. Now, I'm going to write the 180 watts as joules over seconds. Okay, so now when we divide 1,440 by 180 watts, that gives us 8. Okay, now let's look at the units of measure. We have joules, and I'm going to write the joules over 1, divided by joules over seconds. When we divide, we're going to keep, we're going to change, we're going to flip, okay? And so now what happens is, is the joules cancel and we're left with seconds, okay? I just wanted you to be aware the units of measure and what is taking place there. Let's look at our final example. Okay, for our final example... What amount of work is generated when 25 watts of power is applied to the machine for 20 seconds? So watch, we have work, power, time. We're looking for work, and that is going to be equal to power times time. It says we have 25 watts of power, and remember, watts is joules over seconds times 200 seconds. Okay, so now when we multiply this, 25 times 200 seconds is 5,000. Okay, and let's see what we have with our units. We have joules over second times seconds, and I'm going to place it over 1. These cancel, and you're left with joules. Okay, so I hope that was helpful in calculating power, work, and time. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.